What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2Y checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual, back with another bang as the guys on the review of the Jordan 12 Game Royal. Today guys, we got our hands on a early look, an early review of the Jordan 12 Game Royal. Now these are set to release on September 21st, I wanna say. Let, let me just double check that real quick. September 28th is what I'm seeing right here. But a lot of stores have been getting these in early, so I was able to get my hands on a pair to look at for you guys. September 28th retails $190, and a lot of people have been liking these. They've been enjoying these. At first, when I initially saw the shoe, I did not like them. I did not like them at all. I hated them. I did not like the black and blue. I, well, I like black and blue. I like it on the royal ones, but I hated when they did the sport blue threes a few years back, the black and blue threes, and they did a sport blue six, I believe. It was a black and blue six as well, and they've been doing a lot of these, this sport blues, flipping it, making that royal colorway on other sneakers, and I did not like it because it looked just like the flu games or the 12 that we got a couple years ago, but in black and blue. And I still kind of feel that way. I didn't, I mean, but hold these in hand, look at myself on the screen right now. These do look good just on the screen. But once I saw that they put suede here instead of leather, and it's not a suede, it's more like a, as Bart had said, it was like a leather that was like really rubbed off on the top part of that leather. And it has a very smooth, almost like furry type of texture on the top. It's not like a real thick, thick suede. It's almost like a, a, a new buck or, you know, I'm not good when it comes to this stuff. It's soft. I mean, look at it. Let me, let me get close up so you guys can see. It's like soft. It's soft, like Randy Moss. You feel what I'm saying? The leather on the upper is like any other 12 that we've recently seen. Very, very similar to that of what just came out with the FIBA 12s. It's a leather that it doesn't really give. You know what I'm saying? It's not hard. It's like a thick, it's like a thick piece of meat almost, you know, paws. But overall, from a one to 10, I'm gonna give this shoe a seven, almost a six. I like the colorway. I like the material mixture of leather and suede, but that's about it. And the, color, the colorway and the fact that it's a 12, but that's about it. The biggest problem with this shoe in general and seeing multiple pairs out is the craftsmanship. There's glue marks all throughout this shoe's bottom. You see it on the suede, there's glue marks. The cuts are not all right. It's glue stains. The quality control on this shoe in general, and I've seen on multiple other pairs from other places, that this is a big, big problem when it came to this shoe as far as the quality. Um, even on the bottoms, there's certain like parts where there's just markings and stuff. Like They just did not treat these shoes well when making them. It was a bad quality control effort on Jordan Brand's behalf. I mean, we do got straight down the middle. You know, this is, this is good, you know, good to go. But quality control, the cuts, the glue stains. I mean, let's look. I mean, you'll see it in the B-roll, but there's glue stains all around this area right here. There's just glue stains and trash. Trash, trash, trash when it comes to craftsmanship. You guys want the real deal, right? I always keep it real. I like a lot of sneakers, especially if I'm reviewing it. I usually don't pick up shoes that I don't like. I pick these up because I want it to be a little bit different here. And this is a very, very popular shoe. But like, look at that. I mean glue stains everywhere. Now there will be pairs out there that probably come without any problem. Just make sure when you get your hands on this pair of shoe that you check it, you double check it, make sure your pair is good. If you don't like the pair you got, ask, hey, do you got another size eight and a half, nine, whatever it is, and check it because these discs are not A1 as far as quality. On the insole, you got a black insole with a blue Jumpman. Eight and a half sticker is right there, you see it. Um, the quality is just a, a no-go, you know. Stitching and everything else is all good. I'm just not a fan of the cut. The cuts of the leather, the cuts of the suede uppers, the glue stains on the midsole. That just really throws me off all about the shoe. Now, looking from far away, right here rocking them, we're, we're good to go. You know, I'm good, I'm happy, it's no problem. But when you look at the shoe and you spend that 190 and you see all these problems on the shoe, you're gonna definitely be like, what the hell's going on? These up here, the little eyelets are of like a plastic, regular plastic black eyelets. And the Jumpman, I mean, I don't know what to say, man. These are size eight and a half. They fit just like any other eight and a half. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions with that. 
you know, with these mistakes that this craftsmanship stir you away from the shoe. Definitely when it gets to like really crazy suede and stuff like that, we tend to see Jordan brand mess up with glue marks and we have a lot of recent shoes, even like the Travis Scott 4s were just total with glue marks. So many people had glue marks all along that shoe, splattered everywhere. I mean, I don't know if it was a goddamn kindergarten class that was out there making the shoe. I don't know. On the uppers though, you got old man nut sacks. On the lowers, you got a soft snakeskin nut sack. And that's about it. The, the one thing I do like is the fact that the soles are translucent blue and not just a regular blue, like a matte blue or yeah, the straight matte. Cause like what happens when they do matte colors, when you wear them too much, sometimes that colorway tends to peel off the paint and you got a white peeled sole. These are translucent. They'll never change color. They'll always be this color. However, for this, this is painted. You can tell and if you scuff this up, you're gonna have, you know, just a straight up white underneath meat, you know? But yeah, guys, let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know you guys' thoughts. Is this a cop or not? You know what I'm saying? For me, I don't think I'm going to cop this shoe. I don't think this is a shoe that I would keep around, at least. Um, this is just my opinion. I'm not... I like the colorway. I just... The, 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 but the price... I don't know, man. When it gets closer to release date, I'm, I'm going to sit on this and think on this shoe. I'm going to think on this one because I don't like the quality. And $190... I damn sure don't like the quality. But I'm going to end you guys off with the on foot. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below. Make sure you follow me over on Tony D2 Wild on Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you guys in the next video. It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in, checking out.